Alright, hello guys. Happy quarantine time. Hope y'all are staying safe and healthy as best you can. Um, so, sorry it took me a little bit. I was uh, in the middle of mixing paint and then uh, Remy went for a little run. So, I uh, had to go catch him real fast. But, live stream has started. So, uh, today I'm doing a springtime acrylic pour. Um, and uh, I also am going to do a uh, pour on a commission piece that I got, so um, that'll be at the end of the video. I'm just at the moment mixing up the rest of the paint that I need for today. So in front of me I have a 12 by 12 Artist Loft canvas. Hey, Mad Mac. I don't necessarily know who that is, but hello. How are you? Glad to have you here. So yeah, as I said, just mixing up uh, the last little bit of paint that I need for uh, today's pour video. Um, I got some springtime colors here, and then uh, for the commission piece, it's kind of springy colors. It's a lot of greens and um, a tan that I got going on. So just finishing stirring those up and then we can probably get started. Um, again, as I said, this is a 12 by 12 Artist Loft canvas. Um, I prefer the Artist Loft canvas, just the plain stretch canvases for uh, pouring. Um, I've noticed that the uh, panels, they tend to warp a little bit. Oh, I'm doing good, Mad Mac. You uh, staying healthy during the quarantine time? I don't know when all the my uh, comments or responses to you will pop up in the video, so I do apologize for that. But I'll try to keep up with you as you uh, comment there. Um, so my colors for this 12 by 12 canvas, we've got, um, I'm using these DIY Art Minds paints here. I've got uh, Lemon Spritz, we've got Orange Flame, and I've got Beach Bum. And then I'm using um, Craft Smart White, and I also have a Craft Smart uh, Wisteria that I'm using. So those are my colors for that. Um, all of my paint is mixed with Floetrol and water. And Floetrol is this lovely thing here. It is a paint conditioner. So it, uh, it's latex based by the way. So it um, just makes the paint flow nice and easily on the canvas and it's what, help, it's what helps makes all the fun designs on an acrylic board. I'm waiting for it to be over too. Can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> I mean, and I'm working still through it, so you know that's that's fun. But uh, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but you could check those out. They might give you some fun ideas to do while you're bored. And then Monday, I'm going to be doing, uh, showing you guys how to do friendship bracelets on my live stream. I didn't bring any of the string down that you need for it, but um, it's called floss that I that you use for it. I think any kind of string would work, but that's the kind I use. I'm just trying to get the paint done first so that I don't have to stop and mix it in the middle of this stuff. I started doing this a little bit late. Actually, I thought I had all the colors I needed is what happened. and I came down and uh, I didn't. I had to mix them up. So, yeah. That made for a fun time. Alright. We are good to go with the paint now. Alright, so let's... 
let me grab there we go. All right, so I always like to elevate my canvas off the uh, table when I do this. I use thumbtacks to do that. So I'm just gonna put my thumbtacks in the bottom of this canvas. And if you've never poured paint before, uh, or done the paint pouring before, I do have a mixing video or beginner video, um, very first video that I uploaded, so check that out. Um, I don't really measure my uh, mixing ratios out, so uh, I can't really tell you what my mixture ratios are. If I ever start measuring them, <laughs> I'll let you know. But um, I use, I use um, these nine ounce uh, plastic uh, cups to mix in. And I just use the lines when I'm mixing it. Usually I mix flow troll to the, or the paint to this line and then the flow troll up to this line. Let's see if I can get a little closer so you can see that better. So top line up here is where I put the flow troll to after I have the paint to this line. And then just stir, stir, stir. Oh yes, it is It is a kind of a blessing to still be able to work. Um, I work in fast food, so I don't see it as essential as everyone else seems it or thinks it is, but um, it it is what it is. So um, I am, I guess I am glad that I'm still working. Unfortunately, my hours have been cut because of it, but again, it is what it is, so... I'm not going to complain too much about it. I'm just going to work and watch, you know, people continue to come out when they're told not to. So I'm just adjusting my camera so you guys can see. All right, so I'm also, while I do this piece, I have this fun little flower container that I am going to pour on. And I think it'll also make a fun design on my canvas. So I'm going to put that in the middle. And I did prep this. I wiped it off. And I used um, some rubbing alcohol on it just to clear up any of the blemishes on it. So, here we go. Uh, so when I pour on a 12 by 12 canvas, I use uh, about a full nine ounce cup of paint. Um, and if I'm pouring over something like this container, I, it's about the same. I just base it off of how much paint I need to cover the canvas. Yeah, they really don't. It's it's a uh, challenging for people to listen sometimes, but you know it 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 happens. All right, so I got uh, all my paint mixed up. So if you if this is something you want to do, you want to make sure your paint is about the consistency of honey or um, cream. I don't know if it might be easier to see it with uh, one of my other colors here. But I got a lot of this orange flame, so maybe we can play a little this one. I really like this color though. So, All right, so we're actually going to start with this color. I'm going to pour this one in. And I'm going to mix up with some yellow. I'm going to try to save some of this green for the other piece that I'm doing. And I just layer my colors in the cup. I really don't have any rhyme or reason as to how I do it. Um, I tend to try to keep purple away from yellow and uh, green away from pinks. It uh, tends to work a little bit better. I almost forgot. I do also have black that I'm going to add in here just a little bit, just for a little bit of contrast. I don't want it to be a dark painting, I want it to be nice and light, so I just want a little bit of black in here. I'm gonna hit it with some more of this, and then some more white, which I might have to make more of that up for the next piece. And let's do a little more yellow. And then we're going to 
put the purple right on top of the orange. There we go. All right. And as you notice, I'm not wearing gloves this time, so and I'm, that's solely to try to conserve gloves because our medical uh, people, those are um, first responders, need them more than I do. So I'm not using gloves at the moment. So let me get my paper towel ready to wipe my fingers off, though, because I know I'm going to need it. All right, so I'm going to do uh, what's called a tree ring pour on the top of this. I think that'll make it look kind of cool. You'll find out. All right. So I'm going to stand up here and do this. Here we go. I'm going to try to do it as evenly as possible right here in the center. And I have not thought about how I'm going to pull this flower off of the uh, canvas, but probably just something I'm going to have to go for. And I've used this paint on, um, on a vase, and I really liked how it turned out. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out just as nicely on this. I don't know if I uh, did a video of the vase. I probably did. Just uh, go and look at my old videos and you should be able to find it. Alright, there we go. So there's that. I don't know if you can see that fun pattern on the other side. I'm going to lower you a little bit. Bear with me for a second. There we go. Better. I do. I do this a lot. I have um, a bunch of bins uh, filled with this stuff. So this uh, is what started the Myth of Hippo art. So, but I enjoy it. It's fun. Every piece turns out different. As you can imagine, just pouring it like that, it kind of everything goes in a random way. So I, that's why I like it so much. All right. So I'm gonna let that continue to drip down, and I think I need to mix up some more white for my next piece so we're gonna do that real fast hopefully I have enough flow troll I am running low but I will walk you guys through that process I'm gonna get a cup out of here all right so I got a bigger cup here for this I'm gonna pull you down for a minute while we let that drip down all right so I'm going to add the flow troll first, and I'm going to go halfway with this cup, hopefully, right about there. Now I'm going to take my white, and I'm just going to continue with the Craft Smart white since I already have that mixed up in the, the cup over there. I'm going to add this to about there. Um, there are other paint pour artists that uh, measure their stuff. <laughs> I've never done it. <laughs> I probably should start, but you know, where's the fun in that? I think here in a minute I'm gonna pull that flower off. So once you have the flow troll and paint mixed in there, you just keep stirring until it's nice and well stirred. It's hard to do it with the white paint, but I don't know if you can even see that. There are streaks 
in person you can see it better. You can see the streaks where it's not mixed in all the way. So that is, I just keep stirring until I can't see any more streaks. And then with um, colored paint, you just keep stirring until it's, you know, the color that you poured in. And this is actually a good consistency. I'm not going to have to add any water. So we're just going to leave it like that. I tend to not add water if I don't have to. Um, it's just what I do. I'm going to move my laptop over a little bit because I'm going to set the flower right next to it. I'm going to get to a good spot so I can do this without spilling anything. Alright. And here we go. Uh, I feel like I just got to grab it. set it off to the side here and it will continue to drip down so those little finger marks I just put in it will uh, go away all right bring it back up a little bit so you can see this better and now we are going to tilt So as you can see, the paint kind of moves in the direction that the weight is in. And you can kind of see where most of the paint weight is while you're tilting it. It's a little flower um, container. I uh, found it at Michael's. It was a dollar. And I thought it would be fun to pour over and make a fun pattern. I've lost most of the black that I put in here if you can't see. Alright, there we go. I'm just going to go back towards the middle a little bit. It is definitely a fun pattern. There we go. I don't necessarily know if it looks like a flower on the canvas, but it definitely uh, looks pretty cool in my opinion. <laughs> I do like my little corners of black here. So I'm going to grab my torch real fast and I'm going to torch this. I just don't remember where I put it. One minute. And torching it just pops the air bubbles. I always torch my paintings. You don't have to torch it if this is something you're going to do. Um, it'll, the air bubbles will come out on their own. This just does it faster. So I can kind of see more of the finalized piece. So if I wanted to, say, move it a little bit more and get something off of it, I could do that. I need my little tweezers because I have I thought I saw a little chunk of uh, paint in there maybe not, I don't see it now alright so there's that one so we're going to move this one out of the way and I'll bring in uh, the next canvas, which is a little bigger. Um, so let me just move my colors out of the way. And then I will go over the uh, colors that I have for um, the next piece. And then, um, I don't know if you see, I have a uh, tablecloth on the bottom of the, or on the table here, so that um, once I've poured the paint and it drips off and it dries, I can peel it off and then I put it inside of um, 
little baubles to make necklaces and stuff. So I have necklaces too. I don't have, I don't believe I have them on my website, um, but I will be adding them to my website. So I just don't know when exactly they will be up there, but I will have them up there. Um, and if you like this style of painting, I do have my website, mythohippoart.com, not arts, just art. Um, and that has all my current pieces that I have painted um, that you can check out for inspiration if you want to maybe com commission a piece from me or uh, if you were, would like to buy. So like, we're going to move this out of the way over to the corner of the table. See like this little area here will turn out to be uh, a fun little necklace I think as long as I don't mess it up with this next piece. <laughs> so I'm going to pull out my Max Canvas here and my thumbtacks so I can uh, twist it up or prop it up. And you can use other things to prop it up like a um, cooling sh baking sheet or um, I don't even know. I've used cups before too. I just found that the thumbtacks kind of worked the best for me. They're little, they're cheap, you can get a bunch of them for like five bucks and they work. All right, I got a little paint on this canvas. So it's gonna shake for a minute, the camera, so bear with me. I'm gonna lift this up so you guys can hopefully see the whole thing. All right, there we go. It's kind of weird angle, um, but that's okay. You can still see what I'm doing. So my colors for this one, and this canvas is a 12 by 16 canvas. It's kind of a, um, uh, I want to kind of do it as a test because um, my customer did request a 18 by 20 canvas. Um, so I'm going to do this. Uh, I might send her a picture of it and see what she, if she likes it this size. Um, but yeah. So uh, my colors are, I've got this Deco Art Dazzling Metallics. It's crystal green. So I got a metallic green in here. Um, I've got Craft Smart Spanish Olive. It's kind of a mm, art. Of, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's an olive color. There you go. <laughs> and then I've got um, Craft Smart Golden Brown. So as you can see, it, you can use pretty cheap paints with this, and it works just fine. Um, I also have my Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, and these bottles are ten bucks a bottle. Some of them come with this pump already, and I've used this paint for this. I've used it just for regular paintings, and it works just fine. So you don't need anything too fancy to do this kind of painting. Um, you can just go for it. All right, so I'm gonna grab my, I got a bigger cup for this because it takes a little bit more paint. Um, this is a 16 ounce cup. And I'm probably going to fill it all the way, or as much as I can with the paint I have. So I want this to mainly be a white piece um, with the different greens thrown in. Um, I'm probably going to use a little bit of the yellow, um, the lemon spritz, and the beach bum green from the last piece because I have it. And I think it'll add some fun contrast, and I'm going to use a little bit of black as well. Probably a little bit more black in this one than I did in the first one. But um, here we go. So I'm going to start off with a base of white. And I'm just going to use all the white that's in, left in this cup. And I'm not pouring through anything on this one. We're going to do a... Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know what, what way I'm going to do it. Maybe a tree ring because it is um, like a earthy sort of painting where I use some of the 
metallic green. And then I'm going to follow that up with some of the golden brown. And then some Spanish olive. I was worried I didn't have enough paint mixed up for this. Uh, some of the regular green. Now we're going to throw in black in the middle here. There we go. And that's all the black I'm going to use in this piece. I'll hit this up with some more white. Then more of the metallic green. And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of the yellow. I'm not going to use any more of the uh, golden brown. Some of the Spanish, some of the regular green. And then we'll put some of the beach bum in here. And then top it off with the rest of the white. All right, there we go. So I'm now ready to pour this one. I'm just going to get my cups out of the way a little bit here. Last thing you want to do is spill paint while you're doing this because it makes it, uh, I guess, more entertaining. But it's not as much fun. All right, um, there's my paper towel to wet my fingers. All right, here we go. And another helpful tip, if you have long hair, put it up before you start painting because it gets in the way. But anyway, here we go. I'm gonna do, we're gonna do another tree ring. I don't do a lot of tree rings and I like doing it, so. So for a tree ring, you start pouring slowly and you um, slowly make circles with your hand as you pour. I don't like this cup. I never use um, this style of cup. It's a very cheap one. I got it from the dollar store. And I don't like the way it's uh, pouring my paint out. So probably not going to use this uh, kind of cup again. I do, um, I don't know if you, any of you guys watch her, but I also watch um, Mixed Media Girl, and she uses a Lole um, Befe bowl, and I'm looking at getting one of those. So I can just reuse it, it's a silicone bowl that I j can just keep using over and over again. So I'm thinking of doing that. All right, so there's my tree ring. I don't think I put enough white in here. I think I wanted more white than I have, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and torch this first. And as I said, torching it pops the air bubbles. And you don't have to torch it to get the air bubbles out again. It, they will come out on their own. I'm just impatient. So I use my torch. Also, if you were to happen, happen to use um, silicone in your painting, which I don't have out here right now, I do have videos um, where I've used silicone, but um, if you use silicone, it'll help the, activate the silicone so the cells pop up. And cells, for those that don't know, are the fun little circle shapes or cell looking thing shapes that pop up on the painting. All right, I don't think I have enough paint on this canvas, so I'm gonna grab my cup here. I'm gonna put some more in. We're gonna use a lot of white. And I'm going to use the rest of the metallic paint. And this is an okay thing to do. I'm going to throw in um, the rest of the yellow too, I think. Alright, there we go. But um, it's okay to get some more paint and pour it 
in the middle of your canvas as well when you're doing this it will blend in just fine and sometimes it just adds a fun little effect in there too there we go so that now should be plenty of paint get back to moving this around sorry it's hard to do this so you guys can still see it thinking that it's such a large canvas and that um, my camera is not very high up I need to probably get a new tripod or something for it which I shall do, but for now, we're going to just live with what I got. And I will try to make sure you guys can see it as best as possible. I will go in for um, a couple of close ups here when I'm all finished. Alright, move back to this corner. This one might be the hard one for you guys to see. adjust myself so I can see better what you guys are seeing. Alright, there we go. I'm going to bring it back towards the middle a little bit. And I get my corner over here. That didn't get done, so I'm going to pull it back towards that corner so I can cover that. There is enough paint on this canvas, so I should be able to do it, no problem. Oh, thank you. Yeah, as I said, I don't do tree rings a lot, so it's kind of fun to do something that I don't normally do um, and it gets all these fun little lines in it so and usually when I do a tree ring I don't want a lot of cells so you don't see a lot of them in here but um, the cells I was talking about are up over here so they do look cool all right so that is that and let me take a look at what levels of paint I have. Maybe I can do one more piece here. Yep, I do have good levels of paint, so we are going to do one more piece. Um, we'll do another 12 by 12 canvas. Let me pull this out and get it ready to go, and then I will move this big boy out of the way. And then once I'm done with that, we will go in for close-ups and I will show you what they all look like. I'll show you the flower that we did as well, or the flower container that was done. Let me just... I do save um, the paint that I mix over as well, like extra paint that I mix. Um, but I have to clean up my bottles and uh, start from scratch. Well, not start from scratch, but I have a lot of bottles that are empty and just need to be cleaned before I can put different paint in it. So that's got to get done. And then I'll be able to actually, you know, save uh, my paint. Right now, since I don't have that option, I'm just going to use it. canvas out the way. So we're going to use the remaining color. So I already went over the colors. Um, so if you happen to skip ahead or whatever and you miss that part or you just miss that part altogether, just uh, kind of scroll back and you will find it. Move the phone out of the way. I always keep a pair of tweezers around as well 
um, little hack for you. Take out any bits or anything that might fall into the painting so you don't make finger marks or an unsightly blemish on your painting. All right. That's out of the way. And warning ahead of time, the camera is going to move here in a second once the canvas is down. And we are going to lower it down a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. All right, I'm just going to reuse this cup because why not? And start with the purple. some white. Also when you do this the higher up you pour the farther down the paint will go. If you stay close to the top of the cup and you pour in the paint will stay on top of the other paint. If you start up high and pour in um, or pour from up high it'll go down towards the bottom. So I don't know if you saw when I poured that white in there, that's what happened. It went down to the bottom underneath the purple. Use the rest of this green. I have no idea how this will turn out. I don't normally mix this shade of green with uh, these pastel of colors, but I'm just kind of going for it right now. Who knows if this is actually going to look decent or not, but we're just, um, as I said, I'm just going for it. I got this paint, might as well use it. And you never know, sometimes you come up with a pretty, pretty looking piece just doing it like this. I'm not going to put any black in this one because I'm just trying to use up the paint that I already have mixed. We're just going to top this off with this orange. Alright, there we go. Um, I think we'll flip cup this one, just for the heck of it. So flip cup, you put the cam, I usually put the canvas on top, fold the cup on, flip it over, like that, and then I'm going to give this a second for the paint to flow down, and I'm going to pull the cup right off the canvas. Let's get this more centered in. There we go. <laughs> That's actually pretty well, pretty good for me. I got it nice and centered. I'm getting used to the camera. Yay me. And as you can see, um, you do want something on your table. You know, if you're using a uh, fancy table, probably don't do use your fancy dining room table if you're going to be doing this. Use a card table or something, but make sure there's something underneath it because you will drip. It does happen. You can't avoid it. All right, so here we go. Pull this off. Really didn't work the way I wanted it to, but you know, it happens. I'm gonna torch this real fast. I kind of like it actually, kind of makes me think of watermelon. And there was a little bit of black left in this cup from the first time we used it, so. That is coming out here now. Set that aside. And we're just going to tilt this. So the purple on this one, it looks like. It's kind of sitting on the top of this paint, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. I like that one. It's like a light of gray, or not gray, purple coming in. I need to figure out this lighting down here so you guys can see better. As I said, this is only, oh, I don't think I've said it in this video, but this is only my third live stream, guys, so I'm getting used to it. I'm trying to figure out camera position and just talking <laughs> what it feels like to myself but um to you guys 
Um, so I'm, I'm getting used to it and it's going to get better if you don't think it's good right now. It'll get better. Um, if you think it's good right now, bless your soul. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the next piece. I might torch this one again just to make sure I got all my air bubbles and bring up any other cells. So you s I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to use this. This little spot right here is a cell or this one right here. I really like that one. That one's cool. But yeah. Let's get this. All right. So camera's going to move. Um, I'm going to pull it off of my stand and we're going to do a close up on these three pieces. Bear with me a second. I'm also using a webcam camera, so <laughs> we will be upgrading this camera as soon as I'm able to. Alright, so let's try to. Sorry. Alright, so this is the first piece we did. The lower right hand corner. On up to the upper right hand corner. And I like the lines that I got in here. I think the lines are really pretty. Upper left hand corner. Down to the bottom left hand corner. And there we go, there's the piece as a whole. I'm trying to keep the cord out of the paint. Alright, now down to the commission piece that I did. So lower right hand corner. And this is probably gonna be a horizontal piece, so I'm I'm showing you the way that I'm probably going to finish it as well and have it so that it would hang this way. Upper left hand corner, down to the bottom left hand corner. And as I said, tree rings are really good for getting lines like this. And I really like them. I think they look pretty cool. And there's the whole piece. And then now to the one we just did. Now these pieces, as they sit, um, the paint's still going to move a little bit. It won't move much, um, but it'll still move a little bit and some more cells might develop. So once they're dry, I will post pictures of these dried on my Facebook page, Mytho Hippo Arts. So you can go there to check that out. And finally, let's look at the flower that I, the flower container. So this has no more black left on it. But it does have some nice little lines down the side of it. So this is going to be a cool little container. And I'm probably going to honestly put, keep my uh, push pins um, in the bot in it. So that's what's going to happen with that. Oh, thank you so much. I think they look pretty good too. All right. So uh, thanks guys for tuning in for this live stream. Um, remember, if you enjoy this, hit that like button. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you can get notified for uh, future videos. Um, as I said, Monday we're going to do another kids crafting video. Um, I'm going to do uh, friendship bracelets. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to tie them. Um, and that's about it. Um, next Saturday I'll also do a, another live stream. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do, but I will let you guys know on Monday what that will be. Alright, um, and that is it.